Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for June 18th through the 24th. This is for the sign of Aquarius. Keep in mind that this reading may not resonate. It may or it may not. Generally my readings are love readings. We will see what comes up. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The timing is fluid. Okay, so whenever it resonates, could be this could have happened, could be happening now, or could be happening in the future. You guys are probably getting out of your head. Okay, you're probably removing some obstacles that have held you back. Some some thoughts. Maybe you're letting them go. You're not gonna you're not thinking the way that you used to think. You may be um, rejecting an offer from the past. Okay, you could be rejecting an offer. Um, it feels the, or you could be clinging. It could go both ways. You could be clinging to the past, or you could be rejecting an offer from someone from the past. It feels as though somebody has been overly critical, and you know, maybe maybe you are deciding that you deserve more than that. You know, I deserve something more than this, and. You know, I think that you guys are bringing some balance back to your life um, after a period of disharmony, okay? Um, something has been holding you back, but it, it looks to me like you guys are, are trying to remove that obstacle from your life. Wow, there's a lot of self-love here. A lot of self-love. It's like you guys are going through a rebirth. You're going through some sort of renewal. Um... You're, you're making steps to regain the balance that's been lost. That's, it's absolutely clear. It's like you guys are taking steps in the right direction to remove yourself from a situation that was, you know, where maybe you were walking on egg, eggshells. You were dealing with a lot of drama, and it feels like you're probably removing that drama from you, or you have removed that drama from your life. Um, wow. Wow. Look at this, two of wands, three of wands, right next to each other. Interesting. I use this deck all the time, by the way. Um, both reversed. You may feel like you wasted quite a bit of time, huh? You're probably feeling like, you know, I wasted way too much time on that. It's time for me to love myself. It's time for me to put myself first. It's like... You've had this fear of change for quite some time, and you still may be feeling a little indecisive about the changes that you are making, but it feels like you don't want to waste any more time either way. I, I really don't. I don't want to waste any more time. I really want my ships to come in, and it feels like for your ships to come in, you know that you have to make some, some serious changes in your life, and it feels like... Um, you may suddenly decide to step outside of your comfort zone and remove some obstacles. This could be a sudden change. Um, I think that for a period of time, you've been choosing the safest option, but it wasn't getting you anywhere, okay? Whatever this was. Yeah, it was keeping things unbalanced. And so you're trying to bring balance back to your life. It's pretty prominent this month. It's like things have, it's like extremes. One minute you're feeling very, very good and at ease. The next minute it's like poof, down like that. You know what I mean? It's like you get kicked in the head or something. Not that you do, but you know what I mean? It's like up and, and, and a fast track down. Um, interesting. So, this is for Aquarius. It appears that, you know, there's been some indecisiveness here. And I think that you've been juggling. You've been juggling with your own thoughts. You've been juggling with your decisions, whether to, whether to stay or go, whether to keep putting in effort, whether to stop putting in effort, whether you're wasting your time or not. And, a lot, and I think you keep on going back with back and forth with this. I am wasting my time. No, I'm not wasting my time. That's what this is. It's like I am. I'm wasting my time. I know I'm wasting my time. And no, but but I just, there's fear of change here. Okay, you probably have this fear. 
Um, I feel like you could be temperamental this week because of all this de these decisions that you need to make, okay? I feel like things have absolutely been unharmonious in your life, and so you know that you have to get creative to bring that peace and harmony back. So it feels as though your challenge is right here. Your challenge is, is the Two of Pentacles, which is about finding the balance. That's your challenge. Your challenge this week is keeping balance in your life. And it feels as though um, you have some decisions to make. Some of them are financial decisions. Um, you've been in one situation where there's been a lot of, of criticism and misjudgment. And you may have been feeling like you've been attacked by some people. And it feels as though you, you're still clinging to it. You, you've stayed there and you've put up with it. But you're coming to grips with who you are and it's like no I know that I'm worth more than this I know that I'm worth more than this and I feel like that's where you're you're juggling lies with I I, I I need this money or I need this situation but it's not serving my higher purpose you know so you're you're stuck you're, you're stuck in a rut which I see that you are I feel as though um you know, your advice is the two of wands reversed. It's, it's, your advice is to make a decision. Make a decision. You know, I feel like right now you're, you may be holding on to some anxiety. You may be holding on to um, these fears of the unknown. That's, that's your advice is to let go of those fears, to, to step into the fear, okay, to remove that fear, remove that obstacle of fear. That's your advice. That is your advice position. Others see you as being unhappy. They know you're not happy in this situation. This is how others see you in this position. They see you as being unhappy. They see that you're not um, having fun here. You know, you could be involved. They can see, you know, you could be involved in a third party situation. I'm just saying that could be the case. But, you know, and three is a crown. Three doesn't, th third party situation can mean so many things. It can mean between a couple co workers. It can be between friends. It can be between lovers. It can be between parents and your children. You know, it can be so many ways. But I feel like this is a week of you um, finding that self love that you have to grow okay to grow and and find your own abundance okay because the basis of your reading is the empress card this tells me that you're a very beautiful person and this can be for a man or a woman there's a lot of beauty here there's a lot of love here you're a beautiful soul okay you have to be your own advocate the empress is her own advocate and i feel like this is a is a is a week of you being your own advocate it's telling somebody how you deserve i mean what you deserve you know or going after what you deserve so i feel as though you know you're you doubt yourself a little bit and you need to you need to step outside of that those fears and doubt and, and be your own advocate Anyway, I feel that you've gained a lot of strength through this situation. I can see that you have, and you've gained some compassion as well. But I also feel like um, you really need to set a clear intention. Do you even know what you want? Do you? Are you just, I mean, do you even really know what you want? That's what the Three of Wands, one of the meanings of the Three of Wands reversed. It's like your ships can't come in if you don't know what you want. So, you know, you really need to become clear of what you really want. And I'm going to get some clarifiers here. Aquarius. Let's go with the right around the corner. Right, you know, you are, we have these two sevens. Two seven seven is the number from heaven. It's divine. You are being divinely guided to make a change, to take a step. You are. You're being divinely guided to take a step in another direction, to to make some sort of change. Okay, because wherever you're at, it's not realistic. It's not realistic. It's not serving your higher purpose. It's not, and it feels as though um, you need. I need to get one more card. Oh my gosh, you need to make a decision. I see so much indecisiveness, it's crazy. 
You're keep you you're delaying. You are delaying your own happiness by being indecisive. You see the truth. In the future, you're going to realize the truth anyway. You're going to realize that this situation is unrealistic. It doesn't serve yourself. It doesn't serve your soul. In the future, you are going to take the next step because this is seeing the truth. Finally. Finally. You're going to see that it's unrealistic. You're going to see that this is drama. And you're going to take the next step in the future. Around the corner. Okay? Oh, so the future. This is the future card. And the three is three of wands. Okay, this is the future position, and it's the future card. So focusing on the future. This right here is, is, is you know, right now you need to live in the now. Right now you're not happy. You're not happy. This three of wands. You need to live in the, you, right now, it's not about the future. And I know that's hard to hear. It's about being happy right now so that you can plan for the future. But if you're not happy, you're unbalanced and things are chaotic and there's extremes here. How can you plan for the future when you can't even focus? You know, yeah, right now you've lost your focus. You have. Yeah, you're not completely aware of what, the, what, what, what you want. Okay, I'm sorry. This magician card is about shedding the old. It's reversed. You're not. You're not shedding the old. The future is um, deceiving yourself. You're going to, in order for you to forget the abundance that you deserve you're going to have to take action so in the future i feel like you know you're still going to continue to be tricked because this is a trickster by somebody by a situation into thinking that this is happiness but it's it's not it's not so yeah, but luckily, I mean, you're going to be tricked, but eventually you're going to be enlightened. Eventually you're going to let go. Eventually you're going to stand up for yourself, and I can see that you are. Eventually you're going to advocate for what you deserve, eventually. But I don't think it's going to be this week. I don't. I think in the farther out future, you're going to realize. I do. I can see that you are. You're going to make a decision because you're going to continue to be deceived as you stay in this situation. You are. Things are going to continue to fall apart. All right, um, whatever this is, I don't know. Um, advice, advice. Give me some clarifying for this advice. The two of wands reversed. You need to make a decision. These twos are make a decision. Two, two, two. Okay, you have to make a choice. All right, you have to have faith and trust in yourself. Twos are about faith and trust as well. They're also about choices and decisions. Okay, about your foundation. You have to find your backbone. Your advice is to find your moral backbone to do the right thing for you. Even if it's not glamorous, even if it isn't pretty, do the right thing for you. Broaden your horizons. Even if you have to start at the bottom and learn new skills or learn new ways or take care of yourself, you have the dependability within you to get to where you need to be. Okay, this is about doing the right thing for you. This is advice. Find the backbone to do the practical thing. Be practical with who you are and what you want and what you deserve. Take charge of your own life. That's advice for you. What about this outcome card? This outcome is the temperance reverse. This is this is lack of balance and harmony, unfortunately. Um, but if you stand up for yourself and you be honest with yourself and you and you tell it like it is, be yourself. Tell it like it is. Stop hiding the truth. Remove these obstacles that are holding you back. Be decisive. Make a decision. In the future, you're going to. In, a future, in the future, you are going to stand up for yourself, Aquarius. But I feel like, I'm not sure if it's going to be this week, because you're still going to be deceived. Somebody's still going to be deceiving you because you're letting them. But I do feel like there is an, you are going through a renewal. You're going through some sort of re rebirth. You're growing out of this situation, whatever it is. And I feel like eventually, it could be this week, could be next week, you are going to stand up for yourself and make a decision to go after what you deserve. Um, do I see new love coming in? I, I don't. Right now, there's no love cards here. There isn't. The only love I see here is self-love. 
I mean, look at all the cards that have been pulled. I love myself to take the next step in regards to what I deserve. So I feel like that's what this is a week. This is what this week is about. Other people see that you're unhappy. Okay, they do. They also see that you have integrity because this card is is touching. So eventually, you're going to speak your mind. Okay, you are. Because where you're at right now, there's no wish fulfillment. There's no happiness. And you need to put the ego aside. Okay? It's not about what other people think. It's about how you feel. So I think this is a week of, of making a decision. I do. Making a choice based on your truth. What you deserve. Aquarius, this is a week of you doing a lot of thinking about what you have now become and where you're going. So as far as taking action goes, I'm not sure. Maybe at the very end of the week or the beginning of next week, you might say something. You might stand up for yourself. But it feels like this is going to be a week pretty much of, of contemplation, being enlightened, making a decision. Okay. About your past, something you've been clinging to, holding on to, that there's where there's no more growth. Okay. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. I don't know how that resonates, but I'm sure that you do. I, I do know how it resonates, but I'm going to let you figure that out. Trust. Remember I said faith and trust? This situation is calling for you to have faith and trust in yourself. I think that you guys have been going through a period of, of growth and rebirth that has made you into a different person. And now you know that you deserve something more. You're going to have to leave something behind. I know that you are, whether it's a job or a partner. And follow your heart like she does. Trust yourself. That's what I have, Aquarius. Talk to you next week.